Hey guys, it's Hugh here again, back with ICC Express. In the last video, I showed you how you could make blog posts really easily and get really cool content. And I kind of skipped over some things. I did it kind of quick. I didn't mention tags, categories, blog post scheduling, monetization, and a bunch of other stuff that we have built in. But that's okay, at least you know it's there. Now I wanted to go and show you some of the other cool things that we can do with the software. And uh, you can actually do a lot of curating right to Facebook as well as your blogs. Or without a blog, you can just uh, curate stuff right to Facebook. We've got it set up is that when you set up your profile, you connect your Facebook account to that profile. So the profile also has a bunch of keywords and uh, so you can actually filter keywords by profile and also attach the specific Facebook accounts which have the specific niche that you might want to curate to. In this case, I've got a ton of fan pages that I work with and um, so they're all showing up right here. This is my main account, my main uh, personal account and then all the fan pages that are attached to it. So I can actually curate to all those fan pages individually the same way I can curate content to my blog and I can even you know filter them by keyword too basically the same way so I want to select that fan page and then I can just curate some news and if I just wanted to go to that fan page it will log me in automatically as it just did and as you'll see here this will be the Facebook sharing applet that comes up and uh, it shows the really nice bookmark that that's going to make when I post it on my fan page now, if I want to I can set that post date in the future or in the past as well if that serves you to do that I'm just going to go ahead and post it right now it's grabbed some text from the article and it's placed it in here it's also put a hashtag at the end based on the keyword that i had selected for this profile so it could be anything i think we're going to change that to hip-hop beats since it's wiz khalifa and so that'll be my hashtag so i'm just going to go ahead and give that a post onto my fan page and there we go so now we can we can go check that out so you see how super fast and easy that was to get something cool to share on my Facebook fan page and just keep that uh, that content flowing which I don't always have time to do it this makes it a lot easier for me now I could have marked this up and written in here anything I wanted to I could have linked it back to my own website and so on and so forth which is you know what happens when we do the uh, the regular ICC Express bookmarking and all that and it's really cool we could also just as easily reset and then post a video so I just click the video button here and um, I'm gonna try something with uh, audio mastering for my other website just type in any keyword and then you get a lot of really relevant stuff let's go ahead and try this okay great isotope is a, is a good uh, tool and I, th I didn't see that hashtag but i'll go ahead and just type that in and we'll put that on my uh, groove font. Alrighty, and check it out. And see how that goes? That's real time. You know, how easy it is to just get the most awesome content going on to your uh, to your pages now if that weren't enough we have some other kind of tricks in store so we switched over to the dog 
niche here and we're going to just sort of mess around a little bit with our really cool meme editor and morgue file you know you're generally going to go ahead and uh, research i'm pretty sure that's going to be royalty free though most of them are on morgue file they're really good to use for the memes and this one says you are allowed to copy distribute transmit adapt work and attribution is not required so that's what we want so I'm going to go ahead and grab this with the pencil icon, put it into the meme editor. So now we've got it here in our little um, art studio here. We can sort of play around with it and do what we want with it. Can bring it up and you know keep it in a frame or take the whole picture. And you've got this text here too. And uh, you know try to come up with something clever. Robert De Niro, taxi driver. And to make it stand out a little bit, you can give it a text glow. You can change the color of the font. And there's my dog putting in his two cent, her two cents. And uh, you can also change the font really easily. That text glows a little bit strange so i'm going to stretch this out and see that we actually can also manipulate the color of the text glow the size of the font a lot of things we can do here we have a couple other fun things we can do with it too we can rotate the image to make it a little bit kooky looking or like disruptive you can also put a border and we have two different ways of putting the border, you know, either, either around the outside or around the inside frame, keeping it on the inside like that. So it looks just kind of like a, it kind of grabs attention. So you can use this to create all kinds of stuff. When you want to store it in your blog, actually in the background, what's going to happen is the program is going to grab the keywords for your blog and stick them into the EXIF or into the binary data of this image. So that's going to actually give you an added hidden SEO benefit. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, store that on my blog. And what we also have is an uh, interface to the crazy indexer so that these images and blog posts get immediately indexed into Google. As you can see, I had stored it on the media library right here. You can download it to disk, just like that. Or we can then, as I mentioned, you know, create a blog post around it. In the image browser, we can actually pre-format a post. It's kind of a skeleton of a post, but it's a great way to start. And you could type some more text in there create a title here instead of the, the JPEG name or if the JPEG itself has a title, it would be up there. And you can do creation afterwards, curation, and uh, it's really all kinds of stuff that you can do with this. But what I want to show you before I go is our monetization unit. And if you have you know a valid account with Amazon, then you can go ahead and search for products to insert into your posts with your affiliate link and they all have different data coming from Amazon. Some of them look better than others. So I might put this one because it has a nice paragraph with it. Just go ahead and insert it in the post. And now we have this and a product. So now we're monetizing our posts too. I think I will go ahead and post this. Before I do that, let me choose a category, German Shepherd Pictures. So I'm going to go ahead and post this, and I'm also going to share it to my German Shepherd's Rule uh, fan page. I'm going to set it a little ways into the future. And then I'm going to go ahead and post. 
so now that post is done both of them are done this one this is a scheduled bookmarking of the post which it got back so let's take a look at the post and there it is and you could easily run you know a meme site or a humorous type website this way and you just put a little bit of text in here and you put your funny image and you put your uh, product at the bottom once again the image is drawing traffic from what's inside the binaries that Google reads it's a pretty cool system and of course this takes me in a new window over to Amazon so they can start browsing here and if even if they don't like that particular book they might search something else and they might uh, see one of these other products and take a look and they're still on my affiliate uh, cookie so it all works out quite well now i showed you how you could make a post using images and royalty free images i didn't quite get to the part about doing it with videos and we have the video button up here and youtube just has so many videos to choose from in every just about every keyword if you can't find it on youtube you can also look on daily motion and meta cafes we have a search to those as well once you do find a video, once again, you can just hit the blue T and you've got yourself a ready-made post. This is the video here. It shows us an iframe in our editor. If you look at the source, you'll see it's actually YouTube embed code. And uh, you can write something here, so I would, you know, you would change that up. So basically, this video is a beat from some other beat maker, which is cool. I don't really care. And uh, but they're claiming that it's Timbaland style beat. So what I did was I went and I got a product for Timbaland uh, so they can click over to Amazon and uh, browse the music on my affiliate link. So uh, that's where it goes. So let's go ahead and post that. We can post this and I'll also set it up to post to uh, bookmark this post on my fan page next week sometime. And we'll go ahead and uh, post that. Uh, I also set tags this time. I hadn't done that before, so we'll see those. And it's all done, so we take a look. And that's how easy it is to uh, curate a video with ICC Express. You can see down here my tags are all listed, my monetization is there, my call to action, my curated YouTube text. See how quick and easy that is? It's just amazing what this thing does. Well, there's a pretty good expose of some of the interesting behind the scenes functions of ICC Express. We've got a few more secrets for you as well, but I think I'm going to leave those to your imagination until you actually become uh, a user and then we'll reveal all the tricks. So go ahead and click that buy button and get your copy today. All the bonuses, all the extras that come with it, including our training webinars, all of our hours and hours of recorded training. Okay, so this is Hugh out. I will see you in the inside.